Good evening, uh, Your Excellency. Um, it's a pleasure to have you here at the Catholic Univers University of Eichstätt, Ingolstadt. Yeah, we are um, here with uh, Bishop Lesanu Christos Mateos. Mateos. Yeah, that's my name. Okay. Yeah. From uh, Ethiopia. Yeah, that's right, from Ethiopia, Bahardar Desi Eparki. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, um, the weather is uh, different from your uh, from your hometown, so it's a bit, little bit ugly, the weather here in Germany. It is true. For us, it is like a flower moment, mm -hmm. whereas here now the cold weather is just beginning. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we just finished that one in July and uh, August, uh -huh. and uh, of course, it is a bit different. Yeah. Uh, do you have winter in Ethiopia, or what's the uh, temperature at um, winter? Uh, normally, because Ethiopia is a big country, and uh, you cannot uh, uh, decide as one. Like when you go to uh, Afar, it is more than 40 uh, degrees centigrade, sometimes like in July and August. Mm -hmm. Whereas in other places, like in 20 and um, even below in Hadis, and in Bahadar where I'm living, uh, that is uh, it's medium anyway, sometimes it gets hot. And uh, uh, anyway, we manage with that. You, you manage with it, okay. Yeah, um, well, um, we are very happy um, to have the um, possibility to um, talk with a, a person like you. Um, I myself um, work um, for a project um, called Lauda to See, the Pope's encyclical um, in discourse for a great transformation towards more uh, sustainability, um, which is um, guided by uh, Professor Bartosz. Um, and yeah, for, for us it's um, very uh, interesting um, how this um, yeah, encyclical of the Pope um, is getting um, received, um, how, what was the um, response, the reaction to the, or if there was any reaction, um, so um, it would be great if um, I can I could ask you some a question on this. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, you have agreed to talk with us about the encyclical. Um, thank you for this. Um, when and how did you first hear about uh, the encyclical, about this encyclical letter of uh, Pope Francis? Uh, in fact, you know, as a bishop, uh, we receive uh, whenever there is a new. Uh, encyclicals uh, is being done. So we receive uh, through the nunciature immediately. Um, maybe, in fact, the mail takes time, but we heard immediately and then through the uh, website also we, we managed to, to, hit, uh, to hear. And it, it was, in fact, we did not delay to translate to our language uh, yeah. um, it, because it is very, um, uh, it, is, it looks to be unusual because for us, we don't speak much about uh, um, ecology. Uh, the church in Ethiopia, in you looking at the Orthodox Church, uh, the Catholic Church, we preserve naturally without thinking. So the church are always surrounded with this, uh, nature. So um, this is natural to think that we are part of the nature, mm -hmm. the creation, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Maybe you can remember um, which main messages or statements of the encyclical would you highlight uh, in particular? Maybe um, it depends also from your uh, from the uh, circumstances uh, in in your country. That is, there are many statements uh, in the encyclical. Um, which one do you regard as particular important? Maybe. And uh, I think this is very important that we are. Um, created um, by God. Mm -hmm. God ha has created heaven and earth. God has created a human being. And all have been created for the human person. So human person is always at the center of creation. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, so we... Uh, 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 Ignoring the protection and the care of uh, uh, any part of the creation, it is like ignoring the, or disrespecting or um, 
putting in danger the human life. And uh, putting in danger human life is by itself is also uh, not respecting uh, uh, God himself. Because God himself, we can respect, we can worship, we can really uh, believe in him uh, when really uh, respect his creation. And because we are, this is very important that uh, we always to remember uh, when <clears throat> we, um, we are here to continue his creation by protecting and by, um, by continuing the creation. So I really, I was afraid, I did not put, pull out any particular message, but there are many, uh, many points which uh, uh, impress me um, with this. Uh, uh, the point, what, what the particular point, if we had, this is um, the earth is our common home. Common home, yeah. Uh, the earth has a common home. Then uh, <clears throat> it, it is challenging uh, our... Uh, um, you know, sometimes we are very individualistic as the, uh, way of thinking. We have, <clears throat> we have to want to grab everything for our own benefit, individual. Live alone as a human person, but we, we want to, to live it for just for myself. It, it, this is a possessive way of uh, thinking. Possessive not only at the, in general at the human person, but at individual level. So this individualistic uh, way of thinking, and um, it is by itself, it is harmful to the human uh, humanity by, by itself in general. So for me, this, uh, the earth is our common home. Yeah. So it always repeats, God, our Father, we are his children. I think in this case, it includes all creation. His uh, hand made. He made them by his own hand. That means he loves them. And he, he loves us. So this, um, uh, we may not hate anyone in word, but in action, we may show probably unknowingly. So it really awakens the human being to look at around each other. Um, this way, <clears throat> uh, this awakening message, it is really awakening. It's not only awakening, particularly it awakens the Christian. The Christian being the follower of Jesus, being the one who received the gospel message, should be always, should be able to remember and to leave it, to act, um, uh, to be able, you know, this, there is one very important point, to be able to, to, to see God in all things. And because God is with us. We know that God is with us, but unless we able to see God in you, in the animals, in the birds, in the creations, also, Papa Francisco has quoted the, the, as a beginning of the message the, the, the song of St. Francis of Assisi. Um, brother and no, sister earth, he says mm -hmm. to the earth. Yeah. You know, sister earth. It is true. Now we are in a, in a, in a moment, we are uh, speaking about land grabbing, mm -hmm. we are speaking about. Uh, um, possessing, uh, sharing lands, and really misusing, in fact, land. And by doing that, we don't remember that we are suiciding. It is a kind of suiciding by doing that. So it is a reminder, a reminder for our conscious. Because human being has this capacity, um, uh, he can reach to the truth if someone has helped him. And so it has, it has really a spiritual background of uh, all these things. Some people think it is the matter of 
the, the intellectuals, the matter of study, the matter of discussion, it is beyond that. <clears throat> it is really a matter of living the message, living the, my own identity. Uh, because no one is an island, we say. So sometimes we used to hear this message, no one is an island, but as being considered an island among the human being. But no one is an island. It's all creation is together. We have to think each other. Then our joy, our uh, creation will be secured when the others uh, situation, joy, and uh, um, even the plants can express their joy, and animals also can express their love to the other society. So it is really um, it's, it's beyond the scientific work. It is, it is uh, the origin is we are all the created by God, and we have to follow the creator, and creator has designed it in the way he knows how we should use his handwork and also so that we can prefer our, our joy. You know, God wants us to live, <coughs> to live um, um, in joy. So the earth and all the, everything has created so that if we can have a, a comfortable in a sense that uh, uh, life. Mm -hmm. and this is what uh, really, Im there are impressive words here and there, but in general is connected to one another. The central point is the dignity of human person. Okay. This dignity is directly connected to his own dignity. Mm -hmm. And uh, so <clears throat> when we think of human person, that's why Sometimes also he speaks about abortion. So this is really uh, going ag against the creation. Mm -hmm. And creation in nature is not really the same, but uh, it, it goes against creation, against even the nature. That is when we say that our, uh, we are uh, uh, going contrary to ourselves and suiciding ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, there are many things here and there we can find, in fact, um, <clears throat> it's, it's still, the, the message is still fresh. I think it will be fresh, uh, otherwise we are all in danger. Yeah, it, yeah. it's uh, still, um, yeah, y you can um, use uh, or um, you can um, occupy with uh, the encyclical for, for years, I would say. Yeah. It's not a short letter. And the problems are are still existing. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you know, this will. Uh, as you, uh, the first question you were asking me that uh, um, when when did I really um, uh, hear and what I did I felt? And at the beginning, it was like, like a scientific work that he has bringing. In fact, uh, Pope Francis um, he can be considered as a scientist. Yeah, in fact, the most uh, able good scientists are the Christians, because uh, the gospel <coughs> is the, the, deepest, the deepest knowledge uh, of uh, the, our creation. And um, if you, have, you can reach to the heart, and if you can reach to the soul, that means you reach to the deepest conscious of our creation. So, I mean, he, you know, by the other way, he is also a theologian, and uh, see, really, he has all the right to protect the creation of God. Okay. As a messenger of God, he has all, not only the rights, he has all the obligation. And as a bishop, also, I have to share the same responsibility to protect the creation, to protect the, 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 the nature, and uh, to remind all the Christians, they have to respect and re protect nature. This way, also, they will gain their identity and their desires and uh, what the Lord has uh,
planned for each one of us. Okay, um, let's talk maybe a little bit about the possible impacts um, of this uh, encyclical letter. Um, that is, um, at least in, in Europe and also in the media worldwide, uh, it gained um, great attention, let's say. Mm -hmm. That is, um, scientists, uh, Christians, uh, theologians, but also uh, non-religions um, yeah, noticed uh, the encyclical and were interested. Um, in your opinion, what could be um, the impact um, of this encyclical, which um, is on um, sustainability and um, social justice worldwide, and maybe um, especially uh, in, in your country? Um, does it have any impact? Um, does it help you with your work? Um, could you maybe give a statement on, on, on this? Yeah, just because it has been written by the Pope, they consider it as if it is belong to the Catholic. But the matter of ecology is also the matter of United Nations, and they are so uh, pushing this matter. Probably in the United Nations, this being, uh, they are aware of this message from the Pope. So that has also uh, motivated them and really to, uh, to look at it and really to work uh, on it so that to protect uh, the, uh, the environment. Yeah, environment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> yeah, the way uh, it's been done is a bit different. You know, they think as if we through the technology, uh, they, will, they think that they can protect the harm not to counter the human being. This is uh, against to the teaching of Laudato Si. Because it is not the technology who can prevent, it is our moral or ethics that can uh, protect the human person and the thing. If we are really, uh, we are not pre pre trying to uh, uh, respect the nature and the creation, and uh, we continue abusing the, the, the creation and we protect uh, the, the human being from the consequence. Uh, this technological way of uh, resolving the problem, it doesn't work. See, this is really helpful. But regarding to the impact in our country, the impact in our country, um, in fact, through the, the promotion of the, the United States and the World Health, it could be many other uh, organizations. So the government is also working there. As a Catholic, though we are very few in, in percentage, but we have a lot of uh, institutes so that we we disseminating our, this message. And like we are uh, disseminating the social thing to the church, which is purely uh, it cannot be only just for the Catholic. It is a social teaching. It is uh, uh, as what is being based because it is about justice, about uh, the to look at the poor, the poor. Mm -hmm. And in this message, as I said, it is not only human person, particularly the poor, should be considered in sin. And uh, this is how you can really uh, protect the creation. And it has got an impact. Um, in fact, some, some of us, we may think uh, by, by having a lot of trees and natures, natural things, and uh, we are protecting the earth. No, so, uh, we have to look at the poor. Yeah. Uh, for example, I can give you very simple things. In my village, in, in my, where I'm living, Bharta, in that area, area <coughs> There are people, their life is depend on making charcoal. Charcoal what? is um, that we, we burn the tree mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. the wood becomes charcoal. They, they use the, the, for the firing, for the fire in the house. So they are really cutting trees uh, like nothing. And then, but the government has come up with a solution to, to replace. Without, without the tree. But even if you replace it, the smoke has it destroying a lot. 
But you cannot tell them to stop unless you find some kind of substitution. And uh, these things, you know, this is <clears throat> the world you know. And equal distribution of the richness is very economic. Equal distribution, they should be there. In that way, when the life changes, and no one will touch the tree. In that way, the world, our common home, will be saved. If we in Ethiopia save our common home, then we will we'll, we'll, um, um, prevent our uh, humanity. So now in Ethiopia, <clears throat> everybody agrees that we need to respect. We do many, many good things, even the poorest people, by, by planting things. But they did not stop um, using the charcoal. They did not stop cutting trees. And uh, so that because that is their daily life. So uh, surviving, it is a kind of survival. So the richest country has to be able to respond to these things and our life has to be changed. You know, there are two consequences. If the richest country do not help the, the poor country, first, second, firstly, that they, they continue with their primitive life, way of life, which really uh, contrary to the, uh, this message and uh, we continue uh, harming the ecology. And the second is the refuge people will uh, migrate to the rich country and really disturb their normal life. And uh, so <clears throat> uh, we have to create some kind of balance in, in, in many directions. And the politicians also has to be involved in the matter. You know, fighting for the position, uh, fighting for the good leadership, um, <clears throat> it's not enough that unless uh, you consider all these things and uh, we create a balanced world. Let the world become uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, the proper place for human beings uh, to live in it happily and joyfully. So that is very important. God has a plan for this world. His plan should be respected and he should be really lived. He is our creator, and we have to go back to that original plan of God and will of God so that we can gain um, our, our really happy and, in fact, uh, comfortable life, we can say, mm -hmm. which the word that God is also, he wants us to be happy in, in this world. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, then um, the last uh, question um, for you, your um, personal uh, work um, or life. Um, did the encyclical uh, had any um, any uh, impact? Was it maybe a inspiration, or um, does it play? Did it play any role for your work or concrete for um, your life? Um, that is per personally. Um, is there any? Yeah, first of all, the, the impact on my personal life is to be awakened. Even as a leader of the, my uh, place and the church, and um, I am to do many other things. I may, be, I may forget these things, very important things, focusing on other also important things. So when such kind of strong message comes from the high, uh, leader, and it is really being a Catholic. Also, I give value to to, uh, to this message, and it awakens me. And uh, now I can uh, not only I can say much, but I can uh, give consider in my daily life, which was not there before, and um, which I may ignore it before, but not now, not now, consciously. Um, I try to respect human person, respect the poor, and try a little things I have every day to share, and that way also to be compassionate with a human being, animals, and uh, really that 
to be a, a big family of the creation, to, be, to, to remember that a big family of creation, so that you know, even to teach you know, in my teachings also, it really has brought a big impact in this way. Um, still, I have to learn many things. You know, the, the world is a mystery. And mystery, and you cannot uh, just uh, <clears throat> uh, preserve it in, in, in very, very little uh, mind. And uh, we continue reflecting, I continue reflecting and sharing to the others and receive from the others as well. Okay. Thank you very much for your um, yeah, uh, enriching uh, statements, uh, Bishop uh, Matthäus. And um, all the best for your work in uh, Ethiopia. Thank you very much. Okay. God bless you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.